I just did the most amazing video and I wasn't filming. <laughs> okay, I'm so excited to do this video. It's another amazing collab with Rachel from Day to Day Joys and a bunch of other ladies. I will link the playlist below. Go check it out after you watch this video. If you are here from any of their channels, welcome. My name is Nikki Schumacher and I make videos about any and all types of homemaking and how to love your family through your homemaking. I am practically imperfect in every single way. So if you are looking for a perfect homemaker, this is not the channel for you. But if you're looking for someone who wants to encourage you to love your families the best you can through your homemaking, this is the right place. Welcome and occasionally I sing. So it's homemaking and once in a while I do a song um, just because I love to. We are doing a stocking stuffer collaboration. I'm doing what I'm putting in my kids stocking. These are all from the Dollar Tree except for one thing is from Walmart. So I'll do the Dollar Tree ones first. A little bit about us. We don't buy a lot for Christmas presents. Last year, my daughter was three and she got her first Christmas present from us, which was a $7.99 My Little Pony Castle from probably Walmart or Fred Meyer or somewhere like that. And we got the baby who was like a month old, nothing, except for breast milk and mama's love. And that's not for any like super righteous reason other than we just think it's the best for our family right now. We might go overboard on Christmas presents when they're older. We'll see, we'll see. We'll just play it by ear and see what we think is the best for them year by year. But right now, I notice when they get too many things at once, it's overwhelming. They don't master every single toy. So we practice Advent and the 12 days of Christmas, which means we spread the Christmas presents out. We don't get them a lot, but grandma and grandpa get them a lot. And I spread it out. They appreciate each and every toy just so much better when they get that one toy that day and they just appreciate that that toy and and really master it rather than get 30 things on one day and be completely overwhelmed and I, I just noticed they're crankier this is my kids and it's not right or wrong so I just want to make sure you know if you guys do like the crazy Christmas morning that's awesome and whatever works for you guys but that's how we do it so that being said, these are all from the Dollar Tree. $5 a kid is what we set our budget at for Christmas presents, knowing that if we set that budget of $5 a kid, that'll probably keep us from spending more than like $15 a kid. So these are the stocking stuffers for my four-year-old and they are from all from the Dollar Tree. This is a paint set. I knew she would love this because it's hearts and it has some Disney princesses right there, some of her favorites. Play-Doh in pastel colors because she loves pink and purples and just the stereotypical pastel colors. So this um, is Dough Modeling Dough, AKA the Dollar Tree knockoff of Play-Doh. We'll see how it works. A Spirograph art thing. Hopefully you can see that. I think it's pretty cool. So you just like stick a pencil in there and you can make designs. This is a Peppa Pig puzzle. It's pretty cute. Peppa Pig, Peppa Pig. We gave a couple of the presents to our children already. Like I said, we practice Advent and then the 12 days of Christmas, like we really like to spread out the presents. Now we're moving on to the baby toys. We have a one-year-old. Our main reason for getting the one-year-old stuff is to teach the four-year-old that she has to share. The whale's tail, it's a Bible story. Got it at the Dollar Tree. The lamb's tail. Super cute. And that is the story of the lost sheep. I thought that was really sweet. Oh, this one was for my four year old, but the baby ended up stealing it from her, and they both love it. It's called Miracles of the Bible. Oh, one more stocking stuffer, and I don't think this will actually fit in the stocking, but um, my husband just loved this giant Build a Bible coloring and activity book. He got this for probably both of them actually they'll probably both really like this the one-year-old has just started coloring a little bit but our um, our eldest like I said she loves art obviously we want to keep 
Christmas about Christ as well as have fun and have family time and all of that. So I thought that was really sweet. My husband saw this and he just had to get it. And this was from the Dollar Tree as well. And then we did get my baby one stocking stuffer from Walmart. And that is this toy remote control because she's always stealing the remote control. And the reason I gave this to her early is because they were fighting over a toy all day and it was driving me crazy so I finally just gave her this. My elder daughter won this at Sunday school for saying her memory verse. It plays music. Uh. Okay, yeah, enough of that. Anyway, it plays music and they were fighting over it all day. So I gave this to the baby and so then that made it a lot more peaceful because they had something to see like, oh, I was not sharing my toy, so why would she want to share her toy? It just made the lesson stick in their head a little bit easier. And so that is all my stocking stuffers. $7 at the dollar store, at the Dollar Tree, and then this in itself was $7 and 99 cents, I think, $7.99 or $7.95. So we spent $14 in total for our kids for Christmas, and that is probably all we will do. We might do a couple things like, you know, we might get my elder daughter a fuzzy blanket because she keeps stealing mine. We might get them a few like socks and things that they need, but I think we're gonna wait until after all of grandma and papa's presents come so that I can kind of see what they get and then buy them any things that they still need. This is the most extravagant Christmas I think they will have had thus far. We're just loving Christmas right now. We put up our tree and the girls are loving it. There aren't as many decorations at the bottom because we do have a toddler and so mad respect to those of you that are just like, oh, I think this is crooked. Oh man. Now I'm really sad. That whole video was like kind of crooked, but that's what you get. I'm practically imperfect in every way. Anyway, I hope that was helpful for some of you guys looking for stocking stuffers. I hope you have a very Merry Christmas. I am going to be participating in 12 days of the 12 days of Vlogmas this year. I knew that I could commit to that, but I wasn't so sure about the whole 25 days. So I love you guys. You're good. You're precious. Grace.